Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and welcome back to the WordPress series, where we are creating an awesome... Nah, we're creating a theme. In the last part, we started styling the comments section. Right, we got, we got pretty far. It looks like a comments section. But uh, I'm going to, this time, just going to start writing some CSS and start tinkering some HTML and talk about what I'm doing as I do it. So I want to style the links a bit. I want to do something with some stuff. Maybe fix up the HR if we use the, the horizontal bar there. I don't completely know. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do actually is check out... Let's go to the functions here. And we'll look at some of the classes that, that WordPress uses by default. And if we look at... What we could do is we could just target the whole comment thing and then target the links of that, of that, of the comment list. If we don't want to target any specific ones, but keep in mind, this will apply to any comment content as well. So keep that in mind. We'll say text decoration none, and we'll give it a color of, uh, let's have a peek here at some Colors. Do we have colors? Are we using colors on our website? I don't think we're using any colors, are we? Well, we have that green. That green ain't gonna work for a link. We. What is that? We have that. Um, no, we don't have. We don't have colored links. That's maybe if we were to say text trans. No, we'll do a font weight of bold. We'll make our links bold. I'll give it a color of 4B4B4B. Yeah, that, that, that works for me, I guess. How does it look if we get rid of the HR? Because that was just temporary and it didn't last as long as I wanted it to. What we could do is kind of like a very common trend with, with these kind of comments that, that, that uh, thread like this. And that's color the backgrounds based on the depth or something you know what I mean like this one would have a background color the whole thing and then the one inside that would be like say this is like an off-white color this whole thing and then inside that we have this comment which is a white and then this one would be a white too so like uh, the parent comment could be an off-white color then, then the children comment could be a white no. <laughs> what we could do is just on the bottom of the on the top. Let's do on the top of this. Let's do the border on the top. The one pixel dotted. Let's try a dotted. That may not look good. Of e e Is it actually there? <laughs> it's there, but it's hard to see. Um, e, e might be a little too, let's do a CCC. Yeah, now we can add a padding to the top of these. Uh, padding, top, 20 pixels, and that'll still have the margin, so it'll be a big space there. That looks good. I like that. That's not bad at all. Looks like this could use a bit more space now, though. So if we do a margin on the bottom of 40 pixels, that looks good. I like that. So that works for me. Does that work for you? I don't care. I don't care. Let's do a hover for these links. These links could use a hover change because they don't look very good. Can't really tell the links. So we'll just do a just just a simple hover we'll change we could add a underline or we could change the color let's let's try an underline and we'll black it make it black uh, not completely black what do you think like a I ask you like I want a response let's do like a just a random black 
That's pretty good. I like that. I like the underline. It's kind of cool. And uh, we'll leave that at that for now. If you have any requests for this, you'd like to see how we would do something, please let me know in the comments below. But um, I guess what we would start doing now is working on the comment form because it looks terrible too, right? So if we want to, let's, let's, right, let's right click this, look at the HTML generated by WordPress. So it's in a div ID of respond. The form has an ID of comment form. Logged in as, okay, we, so we could target those links. Um, we could just target the links by going to the div ID of respond, target those links like that. So I want to keep this in some kind of order. So we're going to go right here and it's an ID of respond anchor tag. Um, and we want to match it to this. What we could do is I bet we could just get away by being more efficient and saying respond a. Okay, so now it's sharing the styles with each other. And that's good, that's what we want. So let's also do that here. We'll say, comma, okay, a lot of commas and no commas. And then we'll add this as a hover, hover, and there we go. So that's, uh, that's, that's that. Now let's take and figure out what this was in again. Logged in as, so we can target that class my voice is about to go away and I don't know why I've not been talking that much so we'll go to respond in the class logged in as and this is not required for this to work and it's never going to be any clashing issue so that doesn't matter and we'll get a margin of 10 pixels and 0 so 10 pixels top bottom 0 left right how about 15? Is that too much space at the top? I don't think so. I think it's okay. And we're gonna get this comment label and we wanna bring it up to the top. Let's target the respond label. No, no float. Uh, let's clear both sides. And then we'll say display as a block. So if we can get that up there. There we go. Got that up there. And now what we could do is I don't know. Um let's style the button. Input submit. Okay, so we can target the it's got an ID for us of submit. So we could target it like that, or we could do a universal button. Whatever you want to do. Um hmm. So let's just do it on the ID of submit. And we'll say background bah, I don't know let's give it the green color that we use for something else up here just because you know I don't know why but just because I think it's this color let's take that color bring it down here right there get rid of that yeah okay so now we'll get rid of the border Say none, we might have a border, but for now we'll get rid of it and give it a padding of five pixels. Now we'll give it a color FFF, so change the font color. And on hover, we want to change the cursor to pointer. So we get the hand when you hover over it. There we go. Is that a bit more padding? I want it to be a bit larger. Okay, something like that. And that's completely up to you. Again, just showing you how to do it, and then you can take it and do what you want to do. Okay? Okay. So inside of this, we would have our comment, then we click submit. So if we go reply, you see we say, oh, we don't reply to that, we'll reply to this one, we'll say, hey. Click submit, and you see it'll fall into that one, 
right under that comment. So that's working very, very well. I do like that. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Our comment form looks good. Our comment list looks good. Everything is coming together nicely. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Awful Media. Follow me on Facebook or friend me on Facebook. Like me on Facebook. Awfulmedia.com or <laughs> wow, Facebook.com slash Awful Media. Check out the Awful Media demo. I'm uploading different things like every couple days there. Very minor changes here and there, but things that have have taken a lot of thought and a lot of a lot of my time. Ah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget you can download these files at awfulmedia.com slash WordPress dash video dash series. Download these files there, all the theme files you could you could never want. Thanks for watching. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.